Hey, it's Central Valley Business. I'm your host, Steve Walling. My guest for this segment is, is Mike Goosen. Mike, welcome to the show. And he is Thank with, you. now catch this, Columns for Success. And if you happen to be an entrepreneur or a businessman, pay close attention to what we're going to talk about. So, Mike, I want you to tell us first, what is Columns for Success? Well, Columns for Success is a, a, a brand of mine where I um, go into small business Entrepreneurs help them make more money. Well, that's always a good thing. Um, have less stress. That's even good, better. And um, get their employees to to work at a higher level than they normally do. And if you do that, you find that the employees are also happier in the process, aren't they? Right, and so are the owners. Yeah, well that, right. you know, that's the, the bottom of, line. Of it. The idea of uh, working together in a way that reduces stress and increases um, outcome is is what we're all about. How did you get into this, Mike? Well, I'm a CPA from uh, from my college days, license. Okay. I've been in small business and working for organizations for 20 plus years. And about 15 years ago, I decided to kind of go on my own and start to begin to provide CFO type services to businesses. Uh -huh. And one thing led to another and I discovered that business really needs to the owners and, you know, nonprofit, for profit, doesn't matter. They all have the same people problems. Well, most of those people weren't trained in, in how to be a, a CFO or you know, a, a president of a company. You know, if you got a small business and you're the owner, you're the president of that company. And, right. and if you don't understand the principles of what that means business-wise, it can be pretty expensive, can't it? Sure, you're sure. I, my first thing, as I said initially, is I found that a lot of small business didn't really understand their financials. For, right. for you know, they got themselves into trouble with the IRS or or tax man because they didn't do things quite right. So I started out helping them clarify and set up good processes for their accounting and training their people. And they started asking me about strategic plans and how do I fix an employee who's uh, not doing so well and all that. So I got involved in the that, that as well. So yeah. visionary leadership, strategic planning, fixing employee problems, it all just became part of my offering. How do you like that? I actually like both of them a lot. Yeah. Um, you know, to be able to, to work, you know, work with a small business. I, when I say small, medium, I'm talking, you know, three or four million dollars a year, 20 uh -huh. employees, that okay. kind of thing. Um, I find great satisfaction helping them grow and be happy. Um, just, you know, because it's hard work to own a business, as you probably realize. It is. It, it, and stressful. It is. And so when people are staying up at night worrying about next month's payroll or next week or the next day's payroll, for that matter, or stress out of getting enough done, I find that by applying good, sound business principles, a lot of that stress goes away and you get the fun back into business. That sounds great, Mike, but how do I do that? Well, there's a lot of ways. Um, but what I do is I host an annual workshop up at Tanaya Lodge, just up the highway here. Oh, I know. Beautiful that's place. Beautiful place. And I try to get 20, 25 uh, business owners and uh -huh. business people to come up together and we go through a two-day workshop and the design to build, how to build a high-performing company or culture of high performance because yeah. it's really about the culture of the business. And over the two days, we work on a lot of things together. Mm -hmm. And when they leave, they have a pretty good idea of what it takes, right. a good workbook to help them guide their way out, uh -huh. and they have a lot of fun too. So well, it's a little bit interactive. It's not a boring lecture, I guarantee it. Well, there you go. And it's, like you say, it's at a, a beautiful venue up sure. there. Um, mm -hmm. So, okay, it's two days. We're I'm Saturday and Sunday. Oh, now actually it's Thursday and Friday. Oh, Thursday people don't like to give up their that, weekend, I, I tell you. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So it's Thursday and Friday. Yeah. I show up uh, and I sign in. What's my day going to, you know, just kind of take me through what the experience oh, is going to sure. Be. Well, the way I set it up is that we start at 830 so people can drive up Thursday morning so they don't have to spend the night unless they want to. Okay. Um, it starts right off with... Um, uh, the first principle of what is a high-performing organization look like? Okay. What are the what are the characteristics and principles that they apply? And there's a good hands-on event, so that takes the first morning. Then we jump into leadership. Mm -hmm. um, what is it, uh, and and how do you lead a company? What are some of the principles there? Uh, communication, conflict resolution, those type of things. Yeah. Uh, next day we get into teamwork and team building and visionary leadership and those type of. Concepts. Well, you cover a lot of bases, don't you? And then uh, Friday afternoon, we wrap up around 3 o'clock, and then we have a X, S, the experts section, because I, I co-lead co with two other gentlemen. Okay. And everyone can bring their personal problems or business struggles, and we just hash out what they need, what, what's important to them. Cool. And by 5 o'clock, we're done. They head on home, and so they're home for dinner. 
So they spend one night in the hotel, which is a nice dinner there and mm -hmm. all that. So it's not too expensive. Mm -hmm. um, we get a special rate yeah. for the hotel because of the group, mm -hmm. which is about, oh, it's close to $100 lower than normal. Yeah, that's awesome. Less. And um, it's great for teams. I want to encourage, if you have two, three, or four people that run your business, right. bring the team because you get away from all the stress. You can relax and learn some new things, and uh, it maximizes the value if you're with somebody else. That's great. So um, I did bring a video, a testimonial video. Did you? Did you? Well, let's sure. For like people we got that who have video experienced up. it before. And um, it's about three minutes, I think. And so I think it's really good. And if people would like to learn more about it, that's what they can start. Coming to this has just really opened our eyes. This has really given us a lot of direction, a lot of focus, and actually, I think both of us a little bit more drive to get the things done that we've been wanting to get done for a long time. Before I got here, I didn't have a clear vision or, or understanding, rather, on what's at the heart of employees and employee management and how to talk to them. Knowing the difference between what a true leader is versus what a true manager is and vice versa and what that, what that means for an organization and how that means for program development, for achieving your goals. How I work with people, be it at home or in my job. Learning the basics of what a strategy is, learning the basics of what a mission is. You really think you know everything, but you'd be surprised. I think that this is going to enhance my personal skills tremendously. The relationship with the team one-on-one -on -one and the human aspect. It was a very prominent theme throughout the two days. To have it be so prevalent told me and validated that it's extremely important. It's good to come in a group because when you come in a group, everyone has a different mind frame of everyone has a different perspective of how you think. So I can take all this in, I can soak it in, I can take it back, but I'll be giving it from my perspective versus some other my colleagues or even board members or even my managers and, and other directors within, um, within our organization. If you really want to be one of those high performing companies that is really up there, the billion dollar companies, there's certain keys to success. And so for me, it was eye opening to be able to learn not only what they're doing, but what they did differently. So this workshop overall helped us work much smarter and less hard. And I know talking to my coworkers here at, on the breaks and at lunch and dinner, we're all really excited to go back and sit down and start brainstorming and talking and how do we implement this. There's many things in there that I'm immediately going to go back and actually do because I think implementing it is where we're really going to find the benefit like the team charter and, and the different models that were there. I think that's hugely important to build that camaraderie with. If you're going to take the time to manage your business and to improve your business, and to go from chaos or normalcy to high efficiency, this is where you want to do it. My recommendation for people would be to come because it's a very good class. Bring as many leaders as possible if you intend to implement anything because we come out of it with more information but we can't go home and teach it. Although I'm familiar with the human aspect that came with the training, I think it doesn't exist at all in a lot of businesses today and I think that's part of the reason why they might struggle. So if you're lacking that, this will really emphasize that you need to have it and I think it would be a huge improvement in their business if they focus on it. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we had a little technical problem with the video. I hope you got all the good information on there, but if not, you can go to the website. It's listed here in the banner below and uh, you can watch it there in uh, real time. Mm -hmm. And Mike, I wanted to ask you, we talked about yeah. this during, while the video was airing, so when someone attends this, this workshop, you, they have available to them further support through your organization, right? Sure, yeah, the workshop will cover a lot of the concepts that we um, and I train and develop within companies. Right. And they're more than welcome to ask for help and we can start a relationship or if they want to do it on their own, it's up to them. So it's it's not a pressure sell at all. It's just right. Like, this is available to them. If they want to join this, great. If not, they can do it on their own because they do have a good workbook and good information they can start. So Excellent. So now we get a hold of you, by. Right, well, on the on the screen there, you have my personal website, which is columnsforsuccess.com. Right. My phone number, just call me. That's my cell. They can call me anytime. Okay. And then they also notice there, there's a, a website for the workshop. Okay. SWHPworkshops.com. There you go. It stands for Southwest High Performance Workshops. High Performance. And uh, 
Yeah, and they could go there and see that video completely better and fill out an interest form, and I'll mm -hmm. get contact with them. It's all done personally, so there's no credit card taken. Just give me a call. We'll talk about it. If they want to go, we'll take care of it from there. Well, excellent. Mike, thank you. thanks for being Appreciate on the show. It. Enjoy it. If you have a business and you want to maybe be a little more efficient, maybe work at a more high-performing level, have happier employees and a better bottom line, get a hold of Mike. Well, I'll see you when we come back.